Say hello to my little friend. Spiky bits. Welcome back, hobby maniacs. I am Rob Bear from SpikyBits.com, and we've got the new war suit already. So, uh, you know, full disclosure, I bought this from Asia already. Uh, depending on what seller you buy it from, you can end up actually getting it for less than retail, and usually you'll, you'll have it quicker than GW puts it on MTO and gets it out to folks, because this actually just went on pre-order from GW for $150. So I'll put a link to eBay where there's some sellers already uh, put have, that have it up there for sale already. Um, with shipping included, it's a little bit more than retail. It's, um, I, I guess the price has gone up a bit from um, from Asia, but that being said, you could probably kind of figure out who they are and order from them. I, I don't want to throw anybody under the bus uh, because I like getting this stuff early uh, to show you guys and just have it in general. And I'd rather spend my money with retailers that are actually doing something for the hobby instead of GW, which, well, there's a lot of opinions out there about GW right now, I suppose. Um, so this kit is, it, I mean, it's its huge. I think it's going to end up being about 12 inches tall, uh, give or take. And the box, if, you know, any indication, I can barely fit in the frame here. It's about 12 by, by 13. Oh, I know where I keep my paper towels. About 12 by 13, which is even, even more incredible for a... Uh, a large uh, display piece like this. Now, when you open it up, I already took a look at it, but I don't exactly know how this goes together. It's pretty well presented in here. It's already in like pre cut out foam, and it's got this little topper. Let me show you. So, it's got this little topper here uh, that has all the loose parts, like the feet and such, and then the little collectible um, card. I'm not really sure what that's about, but whatever. Uh, so it's got the feet, the antenna, the pilot right here. And I think the pilot, I don't think he can wear, I don't think he can wear his backpack when he's inside the mech. So the backpack is, I think all the backpacks are removable because you can basically make your own version. I wonder if this head comes off. Yeah, cool. Because these guys have enough parts that you can basically mix and match your own um, your own custom figure if you really want to, if you get a bunch of the sets, which I, I kind of think is is really neat. And then look at the size of this bolter for the war suit. Holy cow, this thing. I mean, it's hollow, but you can definitely have some fun with this, like make a huge ass keychain out of it or something. It's almost like a little cap gun. Pow, pow, pow. I don't even know at this point. Um, so let's see. The war suit. There he is. Ooh, who's a big boy? Okay, so... It's got a lot of moving parts. Let's see what else is underneath this. Oh, man. Okay, that's it. So it's just a piece of foam right there. I'll set them down gently. Wow, okay. So that's that's pretty much it. So let's, uh, let's see what it's going to take to get them assembled. And uh, I think there's 35 something, some crazy amounts of articulation points here. And we saw the little nub on the gun, so I'm sure it attaches to his hip right there, like the uh, actual um, model kit as well. Oh, that's cool, that swivels right there. But I guess there isn't the flamer, I guess there isn't the, no, there isn't the choice of option. All right, well, let's uh, let's take a closer look. Okay, well, I, you know, I was kind of psyching myself out. I was like, this looks really, really hard, but it actually seems pretty simple. Like the feet just slot right in. Now everything kind of, it feels a little hollow. Like it's got some girth to it. His wrapper name is definitely a little charm. But there's, you know, there's definitely a little bit of hollowness that you can feel when you play with the with the figure itself, which I guess makes sense because, I mean, who wants a freaking thing that's, that weighs just as much as a, War, a Warhound Titan, which is about the same size as a Warhound Titan, and maybe we'll bust one out and get a comparison pick here in a second, because um, it looks like uh, these go up. Yeah, look at that. And then now that we got the feet on, we can probably position this. Oh, so it clicks. That's pretty neat. Oh, cool. So this foot, does this articulate? This does not articulate. So it looks like it comes with one standing foot. And nope, they're both like that. Weird. So does that articulate? I'm gonna break it. Oh, it does articulate. Cool. Okay, well that's good because we were about to have some weird poses. So you can have them running, and because that that uh, front toe articulates, which is really cool to see. Let's get some more light on this guy. So there's that. Let's check this arm out here. So swivel. Can we swivel here? Because you think what the f it says 45 points of articulation, and you would 
think with the thumb being like this, let me look at some pictures here over my shoulder and see how that thumb is. So the thumb does, yeah, so this definitely articulates somehow. Oh, okay, there we go. I'm gonna break it something. Oh, neat. Oh, wow. So all the little fingers, well, not all the way, but two, there's, so there's two points of articulation on the finger. Oh, wow, three. Holy cow. That is sweet. Look at this thing. I'm gonna go like, get the claw. No, not the claw. It's the claw. And then this over here. Seems pretty. Oh, is this pop off? Is this pop off? Dang, I thought maybe we could do some different weapons. Oh, it does pop off. Maybe I gotta look and see. Maybe this, maybe the space marine, the space wolf one comes with the flamer, because this one doesn't come with both. Which I mean, it's not like we're playing 40k, so you don't have to like. It doesn't super matter, but. Oh wow, that swivels too. Check it out. Oh nice, that is dope. So these flip up. Let's see what can do. Anything work back here? Probably not. I don't think there's much articulation back here. So let's try to get the deuter in here. So this should flip down. This should flip up. Get our deuter. How's he supposed to drive? He needs... Oh, he's got a joystick? Okay, cool. And then a little throttle thingy. All right. Let's see how we can do this. Oh yeah, who's a big boy? Check this out. Goliath online. Oh no, my head! No, not my head! Oh wow, look at this. So you get him. Twist this. Because okay. I feel like. Oh, maybe he's supposed to go down there. Okay, so. Alright, so he sits in there like that. And maybe this. I like the hands, they're not like the McFarlane hands because you can actually fit them on things, which is nice. Okay, there we go. Because those McFarlane's digits are really hard to open up. Okay, so this go here. Oh, that harness is cool. Nice, I like that. I hope the jetpack dudes are like that because that's pretty cool. All right, so we got that locked in. We got that locked in. Let's flip this up. No. Okay, so yeah, so those feet do fit on there, on the little foot pads. That's neat. And then, let's get him, let's get him striking a pose. Yeah, and then, this flips down. Yes, does not crush, do not crush figure. Oh, might be crushing figure. Oh, lost his hand, that's okay, we'll fix that in a minute. We can fix that. All right, do not crush figure. So you gotta watch that when you put, when you put these, when you put this mount in here, it looks like it might pinch the shoulder pads and we don't want that. So you kind of have to move them. Okay, I think we did it. And then this should lock in here. Oh, cool. Okay, so we do have to fix his arm, but we'll get that here in a second and we'll come up with some cool, some cool posing for this guy. Yeah. So I got him into a pretty cool pose right here. As you can see, he's kind of twisting and shooting this off to the, uh, the I guess the left of the uh, the model there. And he's got the, the claw open. And I got the legs to kind of support themselves. But what I really like about this uh, kit is that it swivels at the waist. And it's pretty fluid, to, to be honest, with swiveling at the waist. So that's really neat to see um, all of the, the arms and everything twist, this twist. I locked on the antennas back here, so it's all uh, kind of good to go at this point. And then, unfortunately, I couldn't get the bolter to... You, you can't really hold the bolter very well, which I was a little sad about, because even though each one of these articulates, um, it's really hard to get it in there. So I might have to check g -Dub's site and see how the original model kit holds the bolter because it might be able to be uh, to be duplicated but if not um i don't know i mean it's not a deal breaker for me but it's just kind of sad because that would be so neat to just see him holding it and like getting at somebody so um 
that so that was a uh, that was about the only con I can see right here. Like everything else goes together pretty well, and then he's got all his parts, like his backpack, his bolter, his bolt pistol, or whatever they call it now for the primaris. And so you can set him up separately, like next to it, if you really want to. So this is pretty cool. I mean, for I guess this would be one eight, one eighteenth scale. Um, it's a pretty neat little little uh, display piece, and also I mean, technically it's an action figure because. This thing has all sorts of different points of articulation, but I think what you're probably most interested in is actually how big is it. So let's set up uh, some other figures here and uh, get, get a much better idea of how big this thing really is. And here it is. So, wow, crazy sizes on this thing. It's easily bigger than a Night Titan and a Space Marine and even a Warhound Titan. Although the, the Warhound was assembled uh, tipping over a little bit, like kind of in a striding pose, but even the top of it uh, in the back, it would be about flush if you stood it up. So it's easily bigger than a Warhound Titan. So I, I would say for the most part, this is bigger than most Warhammer 40K miniatures <laughs> uh, overall. Maybe not some of the Forge World stuff, but yeah, pretty incredible. Uh, to say the the least um, I did want to mention one other thing it does move at the inside of the groin you can kind of um, like make it have a little bit of a wider stance that I had discovered when I was positioning it uh, to get uh, this pose right here which I thought was uh, pretty interesting the old classic <laughs> oh man so well that was that was really fun thanks for bearing with me there as i had discovered all the things that this can do and i'll probably uh, go watch some football and have some fun uh messing around with it a little bit more so that is it for this one thank you very much for watching uh make sure to check you know check the links below there are some up on ebay right now for immediate delivery you can always order it from GW or special order it from your local game store. But just remember, if you do the made to order route, it is going to take about six months to get this thing. But it's really cool. <laughs> Uh, so, but before you go and do any of that, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be very first to like and comment on all our videos. If you liked that video feature, consider supporting us over at patreon.com and get back in the mail each month a miniature crate full of some of the stuff we review here, as well as some of the top 3D artist designs out there too to help support what they're doing. Plus, discount coupon codes from some of those same manufacturers. They're yours to keep, whether you cancel or stay on. Just It's totally up to you. Obviously, we want to keep you as happy as possible. So check it out over at patreon.com forward slash spikey bits.